A 1963 Ford F-100 surprisingly survived the rust storms. <laughs> I don't know where this, this car must have been down south or something. It had to be. Because I've seen, I seen up north New Jersey where they had like a 72 F-100. It's about four years later. There's rust all over it. <laughs> it's amazing how these, you know, that's a whole thing. Did you say that? Oh, look at this damn trunk on this, dude, the damn trunk. This is Fairlane on the V8. That's a nice trunk. Hmm. That's a really nice trunk. It's got some car door handles on there and stuff like that. But, you know, if they would have dunked these things, the bottom half, you know, used to frame and stuff, and the inside of the doors with Cosmoline or something back then. I mean, they've had Cosmoline since, like, like, like before World War One. And it's cheap. It's cheap as all hell. You know, if the military uses it, you know, it's cheap. <laughs> and it works. These things would have still been around today. So. India, Indiana. So maybe he's from Indiana. That's a Rust Belt area. Notice you got your, uh, how you open them up here. A little bit different instead of using the handle on the inside. Two handles in it. <laughs> There's your filler upper, right? You got the gas tank right behind the seat. Yep. Automatic on the floor. And here's your handbrake. That was very common back then. You just pull it out and you turn it to release it. Just pull it and turn it and release it. So they used to call it the emergency brake. Sometimes you need it in emergency. Then the attorneys got involved and said, You can't call that emergency brake, that's only for parking. So, anyway, this thing looks like it's lowered. It says 460, so maybe it is a 460. I assume it is. It's got a big motor in this thing. This thing has got a got serious go power. See that? <laughs> You would expect this to have a 460 in it, so it's lowered. So you could probably cruise down a highway like 100 miles an hour, and you never know. You wouldn't even feel it. So that kicks ass. <laughs>